Hi, this is James, creator and founder of Optimize Press, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page or opt in page with the Optimize Press 2.0 platform. The first thing we need to do once we have Optimize Press installed is set up our autoresponder integrations. So we'll go to Optimize Press and we'll click on the dashboard option and we're going to click on email marketing services. As you can see on the screen, we have a range of different email marketing providers and we integrate with all of the leading providers in the market. To integrate with any of these solutions, you just choose the solution that you want, in this case Aweber, and I'll click on connect. We'll be taken to the Aweber site where we can approve the connection. And now you can see Aweber is connected. So whenever we create a new landing page, we can easily integrate our opt-in forms with this Aweber account. The next thing we need to do is choose a template for our site. So we'll choose page builder, and I'm gonna give my page a name. If I scroll down, I'm gonna choose the content template option. And as you will see, we have a wide range of different templates available for all different page types. If I scroll down to the opt-in pages section, you can see that we have a wide range of choices depending on whether you want to use a video or an image on your page. And these templates are all fully customizable so you can add and remove elements as you wish. For this page, I'm gonna use the landing page with video template. I'll scroll to the bottom and click on proceed to step two. You'll now see that I'm loaded into our live editor platform, which is where you can edit your pages. To edit anything on a page, you simply hover over the element and you can click the edit icon. This will load a wide range of choices for customizing that element, depending on which element you've chosen. So for this headline element, I can easily change the text just by typing here. I can change the font size, the font style, and the actual font that's used. I can also change the color of the text, the alignment, and many other options. Once I'm happy with the changes, I can click insert, and the changes will show live on the page. If I scroll down, you can see that I can edit any of these elements, for example, the bullet block element, and changing the text is as easy as highlighting it and changing the text. We can also change the bullet style for this element to change the style of the page completely. Once you're happy with your changes, click insert, and you'll see that the changes show live on the page. For our video, we can just edit the video. We can choose from a URL option if you want to use our flow payer, which is built into Optimize Press, and you're hosting your video on Amazon or a similar provider. You can also use embed code if you have code from other services such as Vimeo, or you can use a YouTube video URL and use that pulled in straight from YouTube. Once you're happy with your video settings, just scroll down and click insert. If we scroll down further, you can see that we have our opt-in form here at the bottom. To integrate with our autoresponder, we just click edit, and we can now choose the integration type. Any services that you've integrated with Optimize Press will show in this list. So as you can see, my Aweber account now shows, and I can choose whichever list I want to add my subscribers to. You can also specify a thank you page URL. So you'll want to create a separate page in Optimize Press to use as your thank you page and just enter the URL here. Once you're happy with this, click insert. And all you need to do now is publish the page and save the page. And your opt-in form is now ready to go. If we view the public link, we can see how our page looks live. We have a video here. We have the headline elements and we have our opt-in form here at the bottom ready to go. And that's all you need to do to create a simple landing page or opt-in page inside of Optimize Press.